food allergy is definitely on the rise. And let's say in the last 20 years, the peanut allergy alone has doubled, almost tripled. And uh, for the longest time, the golden standard to manage food allergy was to avoid, avoid, and avoid. But that's tough because even with the best avoidance, sometimes mistakes uh, inadvertently could happen. And studies show that approximately 11% of kids avoiding peanuts very strictly still end up having anaphylactic reactions from accidental exposures. Not only that, even some of the, the other 90% who are avoiding it and successfully doing it, it's still a tremendous burden on, on their day-to-day -day routine. It's stressful, it's worrisome. Every time you let your child go out there in the world, you sort of have this fear that there's something there that can really hurt them. So that prompted the, uh, the medical community to look for other ways to see if we can manage uh, the food allergy epidemic. And for the longest time, for more than 100 years, we've had techniques of desensitizing against medication allergies, against bee venom allergy, as well as against uh, cat or birch pollen. And those techniques have been adopted to treat for food allergy. But instead of injections like you would do for venom immunotherapy, we do it orally. For that's how food is exposed. And by exposing the body initially to very, very tiny amounts of food, like in peanut would be one fifty thousandth of a peanut, um, it, it's below the threshold of activating allergic reactions, but it's enough to begin to teach the immune system to tolerate the allergen in question. And uh, it's done under very precise guidance of an allergist who is familiar with the techniques of these oral immunotherapy. And uh, day by day, month by month, the patients uh, come in and increase their doses uh, and eventually, uh, usually within about three to five months, they can actually eat a whole peanut. And we can keep on increasing the dose until they're bite-proof to peanut, or even to the point where they can eat peanuts freely. The caveat, however, is that they have to take the dose every single day to keep with their deed sensitization. If they stop, they may go back eventually to square one. However, Long term, after three years of immunotherapy, of oral immunotherapy, approximately 60% of kids grow out of the peanut allergy completely. And uh, uh, studies suggest that if you keep on doing immunotherapy even for longer time, then even more kids will reach the nirvana point of not being allergic to peanut at all. So in some ways, the desensitization offers both the uh, immediate sort of gratification of uh, being uh, safe from anaphylaxis and a long-term hope that the child may actually grow out of the allergy as well. But if someone has to eat a peanut, uh, Reese peanut butter cup once a day every day for the rest of their life, that's also not a bad uh, deal. The goals of oral immunotherapy vary. For some parents, they want their child just to be proof from cross-contamination. Most parents want their children to be at least bite-proof to the point where they get accidentally exposed to peanut, tree nut, milk or egg, whatever their food allergen is, that accidental exposure will not result in anaphylaxis. And some parents, they won't like their children to be able to eat the food freely without limitation, so they have to come to the office for a longer period of time to increase their desensitization.